in 47 when the rest of the country was burning uh, Mahatma Gandhi no no less a person pointed to Kashmir as uh, the shining example of, of secularism and tolerance which is not to say that we are uh, no longer a tolerant community or that Kashmir is not a tolerant place it's just that elements have uh, infiltrated into Kashmir that have tried to give the impression to the rest of the world that Kashmiris as uh, a community and by that I mean the uh, Muslim Kashmiris are no longer tolerant of other religions which is which is not true Kashmir always represented a unique strain of liberal Islam called Kashmiriyat its basis was in the growth of Sufi tradition a mystical philosophy that preached harmony the Hindus in Kashmir referred to these Muslim Sufi saints as rishis. The ideological fountainhead of the modern Kashmiri mind was symbolized by Chirare Sharif. This shrine, built in the name of Sheikh Nuruddin, a renowned Muslim poet saint, is revered equally by Hindus and Muslims alike. As Ghulam Qadir enters the shrine, he can feel the absence of the thousands of Kashmiri Hindus who once used to flock to it. Hundreds of miles away in Jammu, writer and poet Agni Shekhar, once a resident of the valley, articulates the refusal of Kashmir's Islam to collaborate with fundamentalism. Kashmir has no aptitude for gun. Kashmir is known for uh, its Sufis, its culture, its, its contribution to literature, to aesthetics, to poetics, to arts, fine arts. And unfortunately, that Kashmir has been killed. Secularism in Kashmir has been killed. It has been murdered. In 1995, this shrine was burnt down by Afghan militants led by Mast Kul. In the blaze that followed, almost every house in Charare Sharif was razed to the ground. Ghulam Kade's bookshop was one of the first structures to burn down. If government कोशिश करेगी और यहां के जो लोग हैं गवर्नमेंट के लोग जो उन पर बड़े-बड़े हुकाम है वो अगर कोशिश करेंगे वो तब तक बेकार की कोशिश होगी जब तक ने यहां के लोगों को एतमाद में लिया जाएगा कश्मीरी कौम को एतमाद में लिया जाएगा और उनके साथ मिल बैठकर बात की जाएगी फिर इन्हें जो यहां से भाग गए इनको फिर यहां लाकर बसाया जा सकता है टुडे द श्राइन इज बीइंग रीबिल्ट but the people of Kashmir realize that it will need more than a physical rebuilding of the shrine to bring back that unifying bond to this land. In 1990, the religious head of Srinagar's Jama Masjid and a celebrated Islamic scholar, Mirwais Malvi Farooq, was gunned down by militants who opposed his moderate stand on Kashmir in the face of calls for an immediate accession to Pakistan. Today, his son, 27-year-old Mirwais Omar Farooq, has taken on his spiritual mantle. He is also the head of a group of organizations, the Hurriyat Conference, which is spearheading a move to resolve the Kashmir issue. We feel that, that yes, India and Pakistan are the two important parties concerning the issue of Kashmir, but the most important party are the people of Kashmir and their voice has to be heard and unfortunately we have not been given yet a patient hearing by the world community. Militancy in this state took a different turn after the end of the Afghan war. Sophisticated weapons and mercenaries were funneled into the Indian side of Kashmir. Security experts maintain that this militancy is partly funded and patronized by the likes of Osama bin Laden. An insurgency in the state has the active support of the Pakistani government. I think the situation has changed. It's, it's not a proxy war. It is not uh, uh, a homegrown insurgency movement that is being supported from across the border. It is now an across the border uh, conflict that is being thrust on the people of JNK. There have been allegations of human rights violations by Indian troops stationed in Kashmir. But in the face of ruthless militants who indulge in massacres determined to arouse communal violence and create a divide, the paramilitary forces have had an unenviable task. 
Militancy has also meant that the ethnic composition of the valley has altered dramatically. Almost all Hindus, Kashmiri pundits who have lived in the Muslim-dominated Srinagar Valley for centuries, have been forced to flee their homes. The pundits have been relocated in camps in Jammu and Delhi. Living in makeshift camps, the Kashmiri pundits are desperate to retain their links with their culture. They continue to celebrate their rituals on the river banks, almost as if they are clinging to their cultural roots. 31-year-old Rajiv Kaul fled from his village in Anantnag in 1990. But Rajiv and thousands like him realize that the Kashmir problem can only be resolved if the pundits are allowed to return to their homeland. Kashmir ko humko jana hai. 10 saal ke baad, 15 saal ke baad, 20, agar 50 saal bhi lag jayenge, ye hum world ko batate hain Kashmiri pundit ko Srinagar Kashmir jana hai. Kashmir ye jayega, wahan rahega, apne gaon mein rahega, apne shehar mein rahega, apni basti mein rahega. Apne Tirath Sthan par humko jana hai. These refugees today are a bitter lot. Kaisi to mangwaye gaye? फिल्में दिखाई गई और नौजवान पहुंच जो थी नई नस्ल थी जिनके साथ हम पढ़ते थे हम खेलते थे हम फुटबॉल खेलते थे उनका ब्रेन वॉश किया गया उसने वो भाईचारा छोड़ दिया उसने भी दाढ़ी बनाई उसने भी कुरानी शरीफ लगाया लेकिन जहां तक कुरानी शरीफ कुरानी करीम का ताल्लुक है अगर गौर से देखा जाएगा तो इसकी तालीम जो है वो किसी दूसरे मजहब पर हमला नहीं कर सकते हैं किसी का हक नहीं छीनते हैं लेकिन हुआ इसके बरक्स क्योंकि उसको तालीम से कोई मतलब नहीं था उनको उग्रवाद से था